now we are going to add external CSS and external JavaScript file in this HTML file. Okay, so for that, first of all, remove this code from here. So create your new JavaScript file. Suppose my JavaScript file is index.js. So this is my JavaScript file and create a external CSS file. Suppose style.css. Okay, so this is the external CSS. Now these two files are these CSS and JS files are external. Okay, you have to include it inside this HTML or add it. So you know how to add the JavaScript file, external JavaScript file in your HTML file, and we have discussed about it. So inside this body tag and inside this script tag you have to write src and then inside this you have to write your javascript file name so what is your javascript file name this is index.js so just write here index.js and your external javascript file is now linked with this html file okay let's save it and now you have to add this CSS into this HTML. And for that, go to this head part and inside this, just type here link. And you can see here link CSS. Just press enter and you can see this is your external CSS file name. You can change it if there is some another external CSS file. And for now, this is style.css. Okay, so save it. Okay, now let's check if this CSS file is working or not. So let's write here body and inside the body, uh, let's write a background color. So background color is suppose orange and save it and go to the browser and you can see the background color is orange. Okay, just to remove this console. Okay, now let's start with HTML first. Suppose we want a button here, okay? So for that, write here button. And what will be the name of the button? Suppose the name of the button is click, okay? So let's save it and you can see this is the button. Okay, let's give it side by side. And inside this button, let's give a class name. So class name is suppose first button and then give here a on click function so what on click do so when we'll write here something and this will be the javascript part or javascript function when we'll click on this button then it will interacting or do something after clicking on this after clicking on this it will show some page or show some form or show some message okay so for that reason i'll write here some function and this function will be same as the javascript function name okay so for now all right here the function name is my fun okay and after clicking on this my function there will be some message and this message will be shown in the paragraph okay i want to show the message in the paragraph text and give a id of this p tag okay so suppose the id is my id okay our html part is complete now let's come to this js file so first of all I write a function name okay this is the function and the function name will be same as the on click so here the function name was my fun okay just copy it and write here the function my fun so inside this function we will write all the logic here okay suppose there is a variable and the variable name is user okay so if user is equals to new and we'll check condition here if user is equals to new then we'll print some message here like sign up okay so if user is equals to new then we'll show this message else we'll give some another message like suppose login so this message will be shown if this condition is satisfied otherwise the login message is shown and this message will be shown where i want to show this message inside this paragraph tag okay you can write here anything like heading or anything or a form so i am doing this in a simple way 
just I want to show this message inside this paragraph tag okay so to show the message you have to tell the JavaScript that you want to show the message inside this paragraph tag for that I have give a ID here that is my ID so you have to tell the JavaScript that I have an ID and you have to show the message there so JavaScript will find that ID and it will show the message so for that you have to write something like document dot get element by ID so JavaScript will find the ID so how it will find the ID so it will find the ID by this method so this is the inbuilt method okay and you have to give the id name here so what is your id name and you can see here your id name is my id just copy it and paste it here so now javascript will find this id and it will show the message so document dot get element by id so where it will show the message it will show the message inside this my id in the html so for that you have to write inner html so it will show the message in the inner html and what will be the message the message will be this message sign up or login if this condition satisfied so for that you have to write here this variable name okay so you can give it any name of this variable okay now save this and just click here and you can see this is sign off as this condition is satisfied our initial value is new and if user equals to new then it will print sign up otherwise it will print login okay just give here suppose old and save it and click here and you can see this is login as this if condition not satisfied so for that reason it's showing login okay so let's give some simple style here we have used the class name first button okay so let's copy it we want to design this click button okay so for that you have to copy this first button class name so if you are want to give style to a class name so here this is class so this is class equals to first button and here you can see this is id id equals to my id okay so if you want to if style to a class then you have to write dot and then the class name okay and inside this write your style here suppose the background color of this button is like this and you can see this is the background color and let's give the border so suppose there is no border just give a none so color is suppose white and text align center text decoration none display line block font size is suppose 16 pixel margin equals to 4 pixel 2 pixel and so 4 pixel 2 pixel means so up and down 4 pixel and left and right 2 pixel okay cursor equals to pointer and save it and when you hover over this then you can see some hand symbol here so for that you can write here cursor equals to pointer then i can change the border radius you can see i can change the round the border radius okay so let's write a border radius suppose 5 percent and save it and you can see the border radius changed now if you click this then you can see login and if you change here this old to new and click it and you can see this sign up so you can also change this text design by using this id just copy this id and give here as then your id name then give your style here okay, suppose the background color blue okay save it and you can see the background color has changed and suppose i want the text align is center and save it and you can see the text is now in the center okay so you can implement this or design this sign off and login in different way and if you find this video interesting then please like the video okay friends so hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video till then take care